Welcome to the eighth edition of Run It Down. If we are not running it down, then it's not you too. Today I have uh, my two least favorite people, Grabs and Jankos. In Hello. The- How's it going, guys? Likewise, likewise. Um, nice. I'm fine. Nice. Very nice. Well, you know, it's almost strategic, you could say, that we have the both of you here together. I, I, I think you can sense that, right? Yeah. I mean... I, I don't know. It's going great, I guess. I mean, basically putting the gun to our head and say, got together. Um, <laughs> not sure if I call it strategic, but sure. It would have been impossible to actually see you guys both together without being forced to. So, I also uh, see a to. mini pad on your OBS, Carlos, where it says that uh, someone gives that you a sub to Astralis GG. That's probably some CSGO meme or... Sorry? Someone gifted you a sub to Astralis. Oh, <laughs> I was streaming and somebody was just gifting subs to Fnatic, Origin, Astralis and all these guys <laughs> for like no reason, you know, just gifting subs, just spending money on making a joke. But you know what? It's good. Money for me. You know, I'll take it. I'll take it. Um, so so yeah, just so you know, uh, we will make this episode extra long uh, just because uh, Jankos is Grabs' favorite player. So we thought it was it just made sense to have an extra long episode uh, for all of us to enjoy. Did, did you receive your German jersey, Grabs? I did, indeed. And I'm and currently I'm doing a giveaway. So, uh, because I was sweaty. And yeah, it's really hot in Berlin right now. People didn't know, so after wearing it proudly for one or two days. Um, do you do you happen to have the, the, the website in which this uh, German jersey, uh, which not a lot of units are left, uh, can be acquired at? I think it's g2esports.com slash shop. Um, I think everybody should have bookmarked, bookmarked it by now. Okay, okay um, good. Well, just for everybody watching uh, or listening, uh, we have uh, trillions of uh, listeners around the world. Uh, China, Southeast Asia, even some uh, Indian people. We have Kuala Lumpur also covered. Um, so uh, I'm sure all of them will be joining right now to buy the German jersey because everybody relates to Germany. Am I right? Everybody. Everybody. It's a very relatable country. Yeah, um, I, I agree. Okay. So uh, actually, do you consider yourself more German or more Mexican? That's a good question. I never asked you that. No, I'm the most German in the family. Even my father is more Mexican than I am. But um, when I need to be, I always say Mexican, but usually. Yeah, I'm German. I think you have, uh, you know, the worst of both worlds. I mean, that's what I get told a lot, actually. Um, <laughs> so that's nothing new. You're you're gifted. You're very gifted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I lost the lottery not only once but twice. So, so in in the previous run it down, um, I remember, um, I I because because Luca and Mickey were like non-stop talking about Valorant, okay. And at some point, I was like, yeah, so when do you actually get to play the game uh, we, we pay you to play? <laughs> uh, <laughs> which uh, they didn't have a good answer for that. They just didn't. Um, so so I think that probably Caps and you, Jankos, are the ones that play the most league. Um, Currently, yeah. Accurate? I mean, yeah. I still play World of Warcraft, but slightly a bit since, you know, I stream every day. That makes me play league. If I would not stream... I'll probably play League a little bit less because, of <laughs> course, if there's like no one in the house playing League of Legends, then you also don't really feel like playing it because the whole house is playing Valorant except for me on Caps. Even our coach and our second analyst or our analyst um, is playing like Power of Exile or something. So no one actually plays a lot of League, okay. but don't worry, Carlos, me and, me and Caps have your back. Don't Perfect. say don't worry. You actually are in arena games five minutes before game time <laughs> on the DC days. <laughs> Like you have to tell yeah, but as you see, um, I'm so relaxed that it actually helps me to focus on stage. Or like in the Experience. actual games. Experience we are Arena. Oh, sorry, we are a variety team. That's what we are. We are a variety organization. <laughs> yeah, we play, we play yeah. WoW, we play Valorant, we play PoE, we play a bit of League of Legends as well. <laughs> you play so many games, dude. How can you actually play? So, okay, okay. So, so you, you play WoW only, uh, um, Jankos, or anything else as well? Uh, I play only WoW, yeah. Okay. I mean, I play League of Legends and WoW. Okay, so out of the support stuff, um, and I, I, I'm talking in general at video games, Grabs, who do you say is better at video games? Oof, I mean, Duffman is old, right? So I really Ooh. hope that I'm better than him. Um, 
and yeah, I'm also better at Lucy than Valorant for sure. So from how us, I think it's me. How old is that Too old. <laughs> He's approaching 30, I think, no? 29, 28, Jankos, you know? I think like soon 30, yeah, but not 30 yet. I think 29. Imagine being 30, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just imagine that. Okay, Wait, so, aren't so you like I decent at Valorant, Carlos? Bro, I'm actually fucking good at Valorant. Like, well, what, what is your rank? I, I haven't played a lot since ranked is out, but I'm oh. uh, Immortal 2. But honestly, I, I, I can be Radiant if I play... Um, uh, I, Immortal is like really good, or is it like Grandmaster, Master tier for League? Yeah, pretty much, yeah, pretty much. But Luca is like Platinum and he plays the whole time. Yeah, he's not very good at uh, like shooting, I think. Oh, but, okay. Uh, <laughs> but he didn't watch that, so don't worry, Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> but he, he likes the game, you know, so I respect that. I respect he still plays it. By the way, uh, Jankos, I have something here uh, that reminds me um, something you said some time ago. You forgot the word banger, um, so you call it blower. You remember that? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you remember when... You <laughs> do you have some... <laughs> Who do you? <laughs> That's so bad. Uh, who do you who do you think has the most uh, blower tweets in the team? <laughs> Bro, like an actual blower or a banger? Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> banger tweets. Okay, uh, I think tweet? I think I mean Wunder has like a pre banger tweet, but he doesn't tweet often, so it's like. Whenever he has a banger tweet, he will tweet it out. But since he doesn't tweet at all, then like every tweet is a banger tweet. <laughs> the fact that you say banger. <laughs> <laughs> banger. <laughs> I don't know. I never thought a Spanish guy could make fun of anybody's accent. But here we are. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> um, it's, just, everyone... it's just so nice of Jankos. Carlos is racist, so um, I think we should be very careful with him. Every, every single time we have a serious discussion in the team. Jankos just mispronounces the word. You just select everybody. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, it's fine. Actually, to all the Polish people, I think we should return the G2 Polish jerseys to G2 Esports. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Buy the German one instead. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, let's, let's not go Well, now definitely return that's the Polish. <laughs> 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 This took a weird turn. Let's just uh, recourse. <laughs> <Really fast. laughs> Let's recourse, shall we? Um, all right, so MSI. There's no MSI. <laughs> 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 so there's no MSI. Uh, <laughs> how do you feel about that? Um, do you think having uh, more downtime is better for you guys or, or, or uh, worse? Yeah, I mean, I think that overall we take this year more relaxed than we used to since, as you mentioned already, we are playing a lot of Valorant and World of Warcraft, <laughs> which wouldn't happen last year. Only Wunder would play different games, now everyone's <laughs> playing different games. So, um, you now we are focusing to do well in the Summer Split and Playoffs. Of course, we already lost three games, which is not perfect, but it's not too bad either. We still have more wins than losses. And uh, no MSI just means more free time, right? It means we can rest more. Of course, there's Corona, so it's not like a real vacation. And Caps and Mickey didn't actually go home, which in my opinion is pretty bullshit. But that's up to them, right? If they if they chose to 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 live here the whole time and they feel like it's fine for them, that's that's yeah, whatever. Um, I in my personal opinion, they should just at least have like a week off at some point, which they don't want for some reason. But yeah, I mean, it's uh, it should benefit us in the long run. Imagine dictating how others should spend their free time. <laughs> like, Imagine with you. <laughs> you fucking assholes. They should just, just go you should, you should keep them out from here. the gaming house, Carlos, because they are they are the, like Mickey doesn't actually leave the house at all. So and Caps also doesn't leave the house. Back in the day, we were going gym, but now it's not enforced by G2 anymore to go gym. <laughs> so we don't have to go gym, right? So only I go gym and Wunder and like Perix, right? But like Mickey and Caps doesn't actually... Okay, so they do leave the house for one secret thing. And you know what it is? And that's only Mickey and not, not Caps. So I think we should like somehow, somewhat force them to leave the house at some point. I don't know how. Oh, that's what they mean. That's what they mean. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a secret thing. Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah, it's, it's a, by the way, um, honestly, uh, every other team is so irrelevant that uh, getting sixth, uh, but <laughs> if Fnatic is seventh, uh, that's, <laughs> um, that's every other team. I don't even know the names uh, of the teams or the players for that matter. I am reading player names that I have never seen before. So um, 
to be absolutely frank with you, it's it's bad because you don't want to lose against no names. But is it that bad? I mean, Jankos, do you know these players? Who? You're losing against. Oh yeah, I mean, you're losing I mean, against yeah, a lot of teams, right? Do. So I know, mean, we lost right? to Mad Lions already. Okay, we didn't actually lose to Mad Lions in the regular season this year, but we lost to them in playoffs last year or like last split. With that spring as well, yeah. But losing against teams like SK Gaming and Vitality and and Origin, <laughs> Origin. <laughs> so like, yeah, I mean, it's pretty cringe, of course, to lose against these teams. But we are just not playing on our level right now, and we are also we are also like to our defense. Grabs is really fucking shit at drafting. So three out of three games we lost is probably because of draft. Maybe we could play slightly better. But probably because of draft. And How does also it feel? Don't, don't forget, don't forget though, enemy team has six bands because carry jungles I can't pick. So they already have the advantage there. So I think drafting is really hard if like something like Lee you can't play. Like imagine yeah. blind picking Rexai every single draft and they get spanned like, yeah, oh, shit, what That's do know? fair, but also you know, like playing to snowball and then picking Kassadin for five, you know, could could be considered like a fucking troll draft as well, so who knows? But I mean, um I think that we since we are like trying a lot of drafts of course and we are like playing to play early game in a meta where picking a late game with like Azir, Aphelios and farming for late is probably easier. Uh, we of course drop games to us just being outscaled uh, because we just give up stuff early game or we get outscaled in late game. I mean it depends right because we don't we don't pick a lot of priority lanes which which means we give up drakes and i think like two out of three games we lost it's because of ocean drake ocean soul like we just gave up ocean soul three, two times it was lost and i guess one more team i don't is it really, really broken? remember huh is ocean soul really broken yeah it's really OP. yeah i mean in the, the the games we lost if they had for example win drake most likely would still lose for example against vitality i think they had an ocean so most likely we lose that game anyway against the skado maybe we can like still win if it's not ocean if it's like any other drake against origin i don't even really remember i'm not even sure if they had the soul or not against origin we just kind of got caught so they just ended the yeah, game yeah that after. was the yumi game right against yeah, origin they, that where was the you, set flank where you and wonder dive oh yeah the set the flank. that was actually bullshit what the hell yeah we didn't see on a ping <laughs> But yeah, we covered yeah, more about I guess. I mean, it has uh, a lot of mistakes going too deep. Let yeah, sli just slightly, just slightly. <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, do you do you see yourself playing Lee Sin moving forward? Uh, just <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just say to better against us. Uh, I, I, am I like? Uh, should I say <laughs> no? And that is to a like, joke, by the way. Should, should, I, should I say no to like save my job right now? Or <laughs> 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 is it an interview? <laughs> yeah, I mean, probably I'll play Lee Sin more, yeah. I mean, most likely uh -huh. I'll pick it. Um, I think in it's, solo queue, at least, right? It's, yeah, in solo queue, at least. It's not, it's not like necessarily <laughs> broken, but it's not bad either. It's like a strong jungle in some draft, so. So, so, so you know, and if I'm a fan, I try to be empathetic with fans right now. And I'm listening, I'm like, okay, so the team is like um, losing some games against teams they never lost before. Um uh, but they they don't seem worried, you know. Now Luca takes a week off or or two or whatever. Um, you know, we see them. You know, I hear they're playing different games and stuff. And this is not me judging, eh? You know how, what I think about this? I I legit don't care. I, I I know you guys. I know for a fact you guys know what you're doing. But if I'm a fan, I'm asking myself all these questions. You know, like uh, why is this is this all happening? Like why are they not turning it on yet? You know why? Like all these questions. How how would you answer that? Any of you can answer that. I mean, the serious approach would be to just admit that human beings cannot be on peak performance the entire time. And last year we peaked at MSI, and then we had a shit summer. Um, but because we tried to have the same level, which didn't work out, and then we stressed out. Um, so just acknowledging that probably we can cruise a bit and get the playoffs, and it doesn't matter if you're first or second, and then two playoffs. Um, uh, put more effort in. Um, I think that's the correct approach. We could also see it last spring split already. Um, we didn't have the, the the time to prepare correctly. That's why we lost against Mad Lions. And then when we actually had time to prepare for playoff patch, um, we we stomped through the bracket, right? So um, I think we have shown um, that we can do it and we deserve the benefit of the doubt at this point. And yeah, I mean, we I think every player so far said also that they just feel happier in their life right now because again, there's less stress. And I think that's also something that um, we should appreciate that um, even though we are the best team in Europe, and I mean we still are, 
um, we have improved the quality of life for, for players. Um, of course, for streamer people, it doesn't change much because it's streamed entire time anyways, but um, for the actual other players, um, them being able to delve deeper into their interests and hobbies um, made a big change for them. Yeah, personally, I don't really feel happier because we are losing <laughs> and I'm still playing the same amount. But I mean, I also understand that uh, we are not losing because we are doing different stuff, right? We Just because we are playing other games or because we spend less time solo queuing, I don't think that's the reason why we are losing or why we had any of these losers. I think it's just our game understanding and also in some games how we deal with emotions lately. But uh, I think it's, you know, it's... It's, it's basically I have like full trust in my teammates and myself so I know that I shouldn't stress out of course it's different for fans because they are surprised that we are doing badly or worse than usual right they want us to always be at the peak and always perform well and always win and don't drop games to weaker teams so so called um, but yeah I mean it does happen where you just are not um, either what you used to be or you're just not at your peak at the current moment or maybe you didn't read the meta well enough and of course there's two games a week, three games even sometimes so you will not win every single game and you have to prepare for different opponents so I think we just take it slow and we will ramp up before playoffs. Okay, cool. Good answer. So um, we play with Pinoy um, this, this week. What does this mean for you guys? Well, that probably play top side. <laughs> yeah, top, for, top, for top. jungle side, probably it means that I will most likely not go to bot that often. Even, even though bot is, of course, a very unbalanced role. Um, then, well, I have Mickey bot, but I mean, I don't really. I we I didn't really play screams with Pino yet, so I don't know what to expect. I think though, I mean, he plays AD carry, right? So he should have like a game understanding on a level where he knows when to like push, how to freeze, how to bounce, how to play for Drake. So I think with a good draft. We can win. Of course, we have grabs in our team, so, so it's lost. It's a flip. We might just go zero two. <laughs> it's fucking right. lost. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> but uh, as long as we get a decent draft and we play through through mid lane to to side lanes, we should be fine. Okay. Pretty much. Um, it. So so now that um so so with Pinoy again, you haven't played with him yet, right? Uh, actually, do, do, will you will you scream with him? Uh, today, right after okay, this cool. video. <laughs> so uh, yeah, just and keep going, Carlos. Well. So Make be, it longer. So, be, 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 so before you get to scream with him, who do you think has to uh, ultimately? Well, who who do you think has the ultimate uh, responsibility to sort of carry the team? Do you think is is on the jungle side? Do you think it's on the solar lanes? Or do you think you just gotta just pull together as a team and maybe Pinoy ends up looking pretty good? I think it's jungle side, maybe. Um, I oh mean, my God. I would say that we're, we're doomed then. A grab oh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would say, well, now if we go zero two, we know who is the reason. Um, <laughs> but I think that, of course, Mickey has like a lot of responsibility now because he knows how how our team works, and he is normally the one that gets called off when he's playing the bot lane. Like normally, Luca is the voice of reason. So we might have some spicy games coming up in scrims, you know, we might, our bot lane might just play into the Mitar 24-7 and take every fight possible. Luca so, is the voice of reason, typically. Yes, on the bot lane. So bot lane. I hope that... Holy shit. I hope that Mickey will actually use his brain a bit and <laughs> not run it down boys. too much so in scrims. So zero to week, that is. And uh, yeah, I mean, except for that, I think playing through mid lane with the jungle and, you know, making sure both the top can play the game. Of course, if we get a drought where Wunder is on the carry and Pino is on a wave clear duty, um, could happen, but it also could happen where we... I mean, a lot of the drafts are basically around bot lane, so whatever you get bot lane, you have to play around. If he's playing Ezreal, great, you know, we can play to top side, but if he's playing something like Aphelios, we probably have to stick with him. So I think it shouldn't be a problem, though. We have four talented players, and even if... One of the players doesn't really, um, you know, play with us that often, and he's new. I don't think it will be hard to adapt to play with him. Okay. Basically, what you're saying is we have my drafts, you have to carry, and Mickey has no leash. So I have to go well, zero two. Uh, zero two guys, we just, <laughs> I, you know, I will tell the boys to just uh, prepare the graphics already. <laughs> <laughs> I also, I also think that like the the changes with Drake Soul are better for bad teams because. Last year, teams didn't really know how to end the game, you know? If they would not get Nash, they would have no clue what to do, and they were bad at doing Nash. So it was really easy to stall games when you were really behind, but right now, it's not very hard to do Drake and secure it, right? So like right now, if you actually like 
give up mid prior early game. They got they have two drakes. You already have to fight for the third fourth one by like 20 minutes, and then it gets kind of difficult for you because you just cannot like actually go into late game. Even if you fall behind, you cannot easily scale because your opponent is bad because your opponent can just rely on drakes to win the game. And that is why I think teams like Vitality SK that um, well I. I Personally, I don't think they are very good still, even though we lost against them, can win games by just going drakes and, and winning. And that, I think it's fine, you know, the games are not one hour long. I remember when we had uh, one hour long games back in the day, and these were really fucking bad, right? Like, you would, yeah, when Rock had with the grabs on, on uh, and, 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 <laughs> and it's origin, face, like origin, and, and you would have one hour game, BO3, between these really trash teams and you would have to like i mean at some point it was a comedy you'd you just laugh looking at it but like it's not fun for the viewers you know it's not fun to watch three hours of bullshit games basically um, you, you yeah. would have an alcs right that's what you're saying yeah. Kinda, okay. yeah yeah when i watch those games it's so different from what i watch in you actually yeah, I, mean, very, very I, I watch. I think Cloud9 is good, so if you want to watch any team, you should watch Cloud9. Yeah, I think they true. actually play a decent League of Legends and they, they play to the limits. But I also think that they play against bots and that's why they look so good. Because like sometimes I feel like the fights they are taking, they are trolling. And how they play, sometimes they are trolling. But they are not trolling because any team is just so boosted. Okay, uh, Shasha, that's the headline. <laughs> Click Cloud9 bet, plays go. against bots. Um, we were dubbed, <clears throat> our match of the week was dubbed as the match of the week, right? And the weak teams. Do you think, uh, I mean, you know you guys are great, are good, regardless of what's going on these days. Do you think Fnatic uh, has lost it? or do you think <laughs> Are you looking for another headline? <laughs> Fnatic <laughs> has lost it. They are so bad. <laughs> 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 I mean, I personally think that they will... I mean, okay, so knowing the players, I don't know what happened to Nemesis. He's playing really bad. Um, but, and Bipo, I mean, I've been, I've been never a fan of like Bipo, Helisang, and, and I guess Nemesis. Because I think Bipo sometimes can be like really, really good. But sometimes he's like really running it, right? In the, in, even in the games against us, he was like... Sounds like you actually... <laughs> and then Helisang, um, of, I don't think Helisang is flippy. I just think that he needs his champion. And he needs uh, his type of game. And if he doesn't get it, he's not playing well. And I don't think that's a flip. I just think that, that he has requirements to met to, to play well. Um, and people say it's a coin flip. That's not true in my opinion. I think it's just game by game basis. Depends on like how, what the game state is. Uh, he's just bad at playing from behind. And he's bad on playing a set of champions. And it's not a flip. And uh, of course, uh, Nemesis, I think he was good like last year and this year in Spring Split he was fine. But right now it just seems like he is not what he used to be or he's just not on a level, on a level with like Caps, uh, Humanoid, you know, uh, even um, the mid lane guy from Rogue and the mid lane guy from <laughs> Larson. Origin. Yeah, Larson and Nuke Dag. Nuke Dag. <laughs> like he, th he's the not... mid lane guy from Rogue, yeah, exactly. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's not... What he used to be, and of course, like Reckless, I think is performing well, and uh, Selfmade is performing very, very well. Probably Selfmade being the best performer, uh, performer, Reckless being the second best. But Reckless does play stuff like Karma, and they also draft in a weir weird way where they play like Soraka Karma bot lane with Graves Jungle, which, in my opinion, is very good to snowball. But they are not going to outscale. And they did get outscaled in every single game they played it because they couldn't close the game fast enough. And this is, you know, going back to the problem with either you get four drakes and you win the game or you just don't win. And I think even in one of those games, Fnatic had the Ocean Soul and they still lost a team fight because Origins ended the game. So, I mean, I think they will bounce back. I just think their drafts are quite questionable right now. I think they have to, like, back up from the graves, go back to aggressive jungles on self-made that, you know, more of a least in the XI. I don't know what else he plays. Just anything that ganks, you know. I think that's what what is needed for Fnatic. I think like self like ganking jungler and Nemez is playing like a little bit better. Uh, and you know, Rekt is going back on carries like Aphelios, um, Ezreal, and they should be stronger. And also, Hill is not playing Tam Kench, and and then I think they can do well. Okay. Honestly, um, I don't know that bit because the answer was so long from Jankos. Um, yeah. I forgot <laughs> what, what the, the question? question was, to be absolutely honest with you. The clip is called, Grabs, what in the hell was going through your mind at this moment? 
Vy jste kasali na kali logendo. <laughs> uh, that's the classic G2 uh, Caps 4-5 surprise where we spent the entire draft meeting talking about snowballing and then they pick us the grass he's like I think Kassel is really good here and like, I think Jankos and me were like but I think LeBlanc could also work fine you know no no pick me Kassel we were like uh, sure uh, I mean ultimately I take responsibility right I don't mind that but uh, in the past I mean with the team we always give our players the creative freedom to find something good and I think this game was playable as well if we actually adapt in game to what the comp wants to do differently because now suddenly instead of going for snowball we have a heavy dive comp right and sure as uh, feels as um, Gragas and Fresh which are pretty good at creating space for him but um, it's literally possible for us to get to him um, but yeah I mean of course Cassidy in there doesn't fit with the first three um, Caps felt is a good idea and we always empower our players um, we almost got to level 16 we didn't and then they got Ocean Saw and the game was over I love it when we empower uh, our players you remember in uh, in Paris game 1 was crude eh? <laughs> yeah. uh, that was a yeah. pike that was a pike uh, uh, <laughs> actually uh, I remember listening to it and I was like yes let's play pike and then when the game was over I was like I, I also I also I also part my jungler that it's fine to play against the Chinese Lee Sin three times in a row, but it didn't work out either. Actually, so. okay, that's not my idea in the first place. But um, what I wanted to mention is that in that particular game, uh, we as a team got tilted, all of us, and that's why I think because the draft is bad, but I'm not sure if we realized that at some point we just went mid lane and dived their tier one two times, like running it down, like literally it was five people, just a nice style, just fucking no no brain, no like yeah. So that's a interesting game, you know. Definitely. Yeah. Happens. Um Okay, uh what is this? Hey Caps, why are we never playing Cas Okay. Hey Caps, why are we never playing Casarin ever again? This is how the clip is called. Um, oh, he gets so killed by the Necton here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, he was a button unlucky, right? He had a ping in the tri bush, like on the left side, but he doesn't actually see the Renekton and he ult at the same time. I mean, it's his mistake, definitely, but he was really trying to get level 16 there. Yeah, he was really he close, right? Yeah. I don't think he would get level 16 by this way. Maybe he would, I'm not sure. All I know is that he kind of fucking died and we lost Ocean Drake, so what we'll Yeah. Uh also, if it doesn't die, I think the fight for us is not even bad because if you look at the positions, we're actually in position to flank. But yeah, didn't happen. Um, Mode Kaiser top is a relatively rare pick, but Wonder has played it well in the matchup against Orn. What made Mode Kaiser valuable against Fnatic's team come? Uh, it's because. Um... Well, first of all, Wunder is a good mo on Mordekaiser because, you know, he got spanked by Gimgun Mordekaiser and <laughs> he had to learn how to play <laughs> so Mordekaiser the afterwards. <laughs> yeah. um, at worst, he didn't actually like the pick so much. And right now, what made the strong and fanatic is TF and Pantheon. So, yeah. That I think if we have broken. top lane without ha hands in this game and we have TF and Pantheon and we just go top lane and Mordekaiser uses ult, it's probably the same. Of course, Wunder can play it much better and he actually knows how to you know, snowball his lane and how to like play aggressive and stuff, but like it's not very difficult to play Pantheon. I mean, yeah. Mordekaiser in that case. Like, he could not <laughs> play the game and to then see fans be like, oh, he's inting again. I was like, Jesus Christ, guys, look at the fucking comp. I think it was really hard for him to play there. I think um, Fnatic like, fans are actually like really um, more whiny than well, G2 fans, you know? Because G2 fans are like, they kind of believe in us and they are like kind of unhappy kinda. about us losing three games, but Fnatic fans are like whiny bitches, honestly. They are. Yeah, they are. They're all. And they're most of them. They're twelve. Um, yeah. Honestly, you know, you know, you know, you get the fans you deserve. Ooh! He got you, fanatic! Ah, he got oh you! My. <laughs> okay, I am deaf now. <laughs> and blind, looking at your drafts. But that's a since a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Are you the one saying that if you leave the simple it's performance? Yeah? Comeback. Let's make the show. Comeback. Okay, he was uh, he, he was holding that in his head for a long time. Like that's how he works. Like, <laughs> like, he had it written so, down in his fucking like, head. Just, like, sometimes <laughs> we're, playing, we're, playing, we're playing magic sometimes, and he's like standing next to us, and he starts to like laugh for no reason. We're like, what's wrong? He's like, I told myself a joke and runs away, and then he keeps a joke in his head. I think, <laughs> like for these moments, like this guy. <laughs> Actually, yeah, it did happen lately. I was just like standing in the middle of the kitchen, started laughing. Everyone was looking at me, and I was like, "Yeah, I told myself a joke," and then I just walked out. 
<laughs> you see, I make myself happy. It's that simple. Yeah, so... um. I mean, Gary ulted right and they tried to overchase us, even though we are still kind of healthy to fight. And they yeah. did get the Kalista. Um, but they all die. That was really nice, <laughs> well, well played from Mickey. You know, oh, this is a good hook, actually, but yeah, I remember. Yeah, I my spear hook, missed but... the Graves. He was too good, but the TF wildcast didn't miss the Graves. So the that was actually lag, right? Oh, it was lag. Yeah, it was lag. It was lag. Yeah, of course, of course. And the hook into the Galio E, or the Galio E. Nah, into but the that, was that was lag. Yeah, the replay, it. that had to be lag. You cannot predict that shit. Look. I mean, maybe you can. I don't know. Maybe I nah, am judging people, from it out there. I'm people, judging people by my skills and not by theirs. <laughs> 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 look, look at it. Okay, so. look at it. Jankos. It, was it on purpose? The hook? Look. I mean, the hook purpose? was definitely I mean, not on purpose, right? For sure not, right? I mean, no, he wanted to catch. hit the Galio, but he didn't want to hit him during his E. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's just like exactly. too hard, right? To, to like... I mean, of yeah, course, exactly. Mick will tell you it was on purpose, but like, come on, come on, dude. Yeah, Mick is not that. Dude. Dude. He's, he's not. He's not like uh, crisp. Yeah, he knows. He thinks we're stupid, man. All right. So, some questions from Twitter and some social media. Okay. So, um, uh, okay. Well, well, this this one is tough, actually. This is the toughest question you're gonna be asked in a long time. Are you ready? Sure. The question comes from Pine Juice. Can you say something nice to each other? <laughs> Next. <laughs> I don't know, actually. <laughs> oh, Grabs, thank you for ordering me my pills uh, three days ago. I might not oh, give you oh, the yeah. money back, though. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll I, give you I the had, money back. I had to buy stuff from a very shady website to, like, also order to a very shady address, and I was like... <laughs> And he was like, he was very, like, the money that I do it for him. And I was like, why? And he's like, yeah, do it for me, please. And it's like, I don't know. Maybe I get fucking imprisoned or something. <laughs> we might not have a coach soon, you know. There might be police coming to our house, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, as someone who, okay, this, uh, from Comply Catty. Oh, I remember. I remember you, Comply Catty. Thank you for the question. As someone who is historically known for aggressive jungling, how do you evaluate the current meta for jungling, jungle on a personal level? And you know what I like about this question grabs. is that it's like written in like proper English. As of like, I'm not saying I don't talk proper English. It's like, can you evaluate, <laughs> you know, the meta, blah, blah, blah. It's like I'm at, I'm at <laughs> school and I'm like, um, so uh, can you evaluate the uh, pros and cons of like this and this? Yeah, I... I mean, it's nice. <laughs> I mean, the meta is nice. <laughs> That's why I answer the questions like that. Um, of course, we have a lot of defensive champions like tanks being played, but we also have some aggressive champions like Rex Eilisin being played. I think that the meta has a lot of vari variety, but it already did have variety back in the day, uh, you know, last split and last year. Riot does want to buff Sejuani though, next patch, and nerf Trundle, which I'm against, of course. I don't really want it to be only a tank meta again, where jungle is all about engaging. Right now, I just feel like it's more fun to farm more. Um, you know, it is ha a heavy farm meta. The only reason why we don't see champions like Kane being played is because uh, teams are shitting their pants on stage and they don't want to play without jungle for 15 minutes. I would love to play Kane on stage. <laughs> And I do like Kane in solo queue and stuff like AP Shivana or Fiddlesticks. So maybe I can pull it off this week because the primary devil of our team, Pe Perex, is not here now. And he's like the one that hates playing with useless junglers. What did you just call him? Huh? I think he meant primary devil. But yeah, primary sure. devil. Okay, okay. The point <laughs> is, he's the person that the hates primark to play. devil. Carlos, don't worry. I speak Jankos fluently, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> thank you. The point thank is... You. There's two people that hate farming pigs in the in this team. It's Wunder and Perex. One of them is not here right now, so I will try to force my Shivana, Fiddlesticks, and Kane this week. And overall, the meta is fun. Thank you. Okay. Uh, question from Caesar Edges: When will you win a When will you win a game with FPX skins? What are skins? Malphite, Bane... Leeson... <laughs> Never. <laughs> Never. <laughs> 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 I, I actually did play FPX Leeson and we lost that game. But then yeah, I played a different Leeson scene, we still lost. Uh, I mean, it's doable, maybe by the end of the split. I mean, I think right now we're what, 
eight zero against Fnatic in a row. So maybe next time you play them, we just go have big skins, so the game might be a bit closer. All right. Um, Grabs, which way do you like your potatoes? From at Hansen underscore Linus. Which way? I mean, cooked. All are fine. That's good. That's all, all, all potatoes are beautiful. Okay, there's no wrong answer there. As long as they're cooked mm -hmm. in some way, um, they're Gucci. From B Joe M D ninety one. Grabs, how hard is it to deal with a lol LOL team filled with Valorant and WoW gamers? That's a good question. <sighs> it's fine. Um, because I you're one of them, hard. right? Harder. Like, <laughs> I mean, usually the, fir the first thing that I tell the players in debrief after scrim day is when we can play Magic. And then usually Duffman, Mickey, and uh, Cap say now, and then we just go and play Magic. Um, so then it's fine. No, but again, overall, I think um, to answer it seriously, as Janko said, we all have trust in each other. And we always have open discussions. And as soon as somebody feels that uh, we don't take it too, too serious or not serious enough, then we will change it up. Um, there are a lot of egos in this team, but they all work together pretty well. So mm -hmm. um, it's actually not that hard. Um, besides, of course, when Django has a bad day, gets a bit tilted or, or perks, um, they can be sometimes difficult to deal with, but that's, of course, every human being if they're mad, right? So I don't mm -hmm. mind. Um, question from Nicholas Bill William. Have you guys considered role swapping? <clears throat> like me and the Gaps? Us too. <laughs> I mean, hopefully that, right? Um, can get rid of I mean, I think I would be a pretty good coach because I know so much about the game, but I think Grabs cannot jungle, so it's impossible. Do if know, I would actually coach? like coach against <laughs> Grabs, I would like make fun of him so hard in draft. It's crazy. You know, as he a would coach, end up with, like actually, Soraka, fucking, I don't know, top lane. You actually, actually have, to have some kind of social competence as a coach, and since you don't have any, I think it would be <laughs> really hard for you. Social competence, that's a good um, word for it. So I think you would fail horribly, honestly. But, I honestly um, think I would keep yeah. my players on a leash. They would be like not allowed to play any games. They would, they would just play League of Legends. I would be a Korean coach. You would be a Korean coach? Uh, we will see about that, honestly. I can just grind up the Diamond Free and then we swap one, th one time around. And then I will make to you and Rafa what you do to us, usually. We're like... All the suggestions and talks we had before don't matter and you just interlock listen and then... The game well, goes. then I will take a shit on your desk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's okay, great. I mean, yeah. that's a, that's a way to escalate the situation. That's, that's how you coach, you know. So <laughs> <laughs> like you escalate the situation, yep. Actually, Carlos, do you have any place with frozen yogurt next to your house? How, how do we get from like shit consistency? I mean, you you, you, you you're just talking about yogurt. like consistency of the shit, like a bit scoopy, and I was thinking like frozen yogurt. What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, I just, I just had a frozen yogurt like following me since three or four how days. How does you? Okay, I'm actually, I'm actually interested in knowing how your brain works. I want to understand. Like, There's how no understanding, Carlos. <laughs> I'm trying for three years. There's Yo, no way. Yo, you know, move on. Like, okay, let's do a, a question or two from Weibo and then we're done. Okay, because that's how does your brain work, Jankos? I'm both amazed and disgusted. <laughs> I mean, it's just... It's just I Welcome know, I to just my life, Carlos. The There's nothing to explain. Okay. Welcome to my life. Weibo. Uh, at... <laughs> this usernames and Weibo are the best, man. The, the username... Uh, at money can't buy my happiness. Uh, uh, Jankos. How do, you, how do you learn English? <laughs> I think he's mocking, mocking you, man. I think he's mocking you. <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't actually study in English, English in a while, so I wouldn't really mind having like a tutor, but at the same time, I think it's not bad. And if I play duo queue with people or if I just talk to my stream, they correct me as well. Lately, we, have been, we had lessons how to say, because there is like beard in the sky and then there's also bird on your face the other way around okay well the birds, point is birds fly we didn't actually beard like, is this? i didn't actually finish the the lesson so i don't actually know how to like like the, <laughs> do the, do it, but like i mean yeah there's various ways you can also listen to music and try to repeat it maybe it's i think to from the rap. way you speak english it's it, i think you listen to polish rap in english <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe that's how that's how, that's why my accent. 
Okay, I think that's it, bro. I think I don't want to ask you more questions. Like even like <laughs> I'm sorry, fans. Like <laughs> I have a you know I have a, a limit, I, and the limit has been reached. You know? <laughs> like the, the amount of jankosness in the last five minutes, it was just it's too much. I can't deal with it. <laughs> 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 I can't deal. I don't know how you guys live together. It's just I mean actually you know. That's why I don't live here, Carlos. Yeah, that's yeah, why I like yeah, fuck off to yeah, home. Yeah. No, it makes sense. It makes sense. Jankos, have you thought about just moving countries? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, like since LAC is online, I I can I can go home. You know, I don't mind. Okay. All right, guys. Um, this was the um, 23rd episode of Making the Squad, and uh, thank you very much for. <laughs> oh my! Honestly, both of you. Honestly. Thanks everybody for watching. Uh, this was Run It Down, and, and those were uh, Mickey X and Wonder. Thanks very much for coming, and have a beautiful, a beautiful day. Thank you. Bye bye.